Hello, welcome to another unboxing video. This time, got a short bar for. So if you're watching this, and I'm wearing is the same thing I'm gonna record next. No, as you can tell, it is open. Failed attempt at recording. I didn't have the mic hooked up, but I actually had already looked into it because I'll usually check out. Um, especially like when I um, did Battle Box, which I'll be getting Battle Box next month. Try it again. Um, I like to look on YouTube to see what everyone's response is, just because you know sometimes things people are super negative. This box got a little bit of negative reviews. Um, I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's not great stuff. It's just it's not as everyday usable, which this is not made to be like a. It's not marketed as oh, I'm gonna send you clothes you can wear every day. It's not like that, but everything I have gotten, I've been able to use almost every day that I have a chance to. So, um, the first thing that they have sent out is they're called Gooder. The company's called Gooder right there. They're glasses. Now, um, basically I've noticed a lot of companies are trying to go out there and trying to make glasses that are more stylish that um, you can actually use to help find the ball better. Um, I know a lot of people wear like a yellowish tinted glasses, which these ones are yellow tinted. Um, and their whole thing is what they, what they even say on here. I'm going to wear these tomorrow. Probably just make my wife mad, but cause she doesn't like them. Um, but they're say that the problem is glasses are expensive. They're ugly and they're over engineered. And these ones are affordable, stylish, and all performance, no BS. No editing on that, they actually say it. The MSRP is $35. So if you look at that, it does say, you know, MSRP is 35. And if you go to Play Gooder, you can check out their styles. The ones they sent are called the Superflies. So the Superflies are right here. Come in a nice little flamingo bag. Probably assuming they all come in something like that. Um, I do like these because usually these will double as like a, a wipe to wipe your glasses off, especially if you're golfing in the summer or in sunscreen or you sweat like I do. Um, one thing I will say before I put them on is I like the flexibility. I have a larger head. Um, did, did some work where I had to wear safety glasses or sunglasses and they just put so much pressure on your brain. You eventually get a headache. These ones, as you can see when I put them on, they don't push in. You can actually feel, I can feel them flexing out with my fat head, I would say. Um, they have a yellow tint to them, so you can see that. I don't think there's any claim that they can um, see anything. There's glare reducing, polarized, and UV 400 protection that blocks 100%. Um, these do not protect against road rash, but no one has ever contracted a rash from a toad while wearing it. So it says no toad rash. So they can't legally say no road rash. So um, I will say that while they don't look the fanciest, I mean, I guess this is the new style and my head's too just big, too big for them. Um, they are comfortable. They're super comfortable. I really like them for that. Um, I probably would buy this brand again if it was a style that fit me. Um, because they do feel like they remind me of like when you see those really, really expensive Oakleys that they used to sell like in the early 2000s that everyone had, but they're super stiff. These ones are like the complete opposite. They feel like they kind of just flush against your head. They feel like they mold to you. So I'm going to put this as a, I like it. I know my wife hates them. So I'm wearing them tomorrow just to make her happy. Put those out to keep there. So this one only has three items. So it has the glasses and then this, which technically is one item. Um, so the first thing we have is a Callaway. As you can see, actually right there when I pull it up. Get my hand out of the way. So it's Callaway. Um, it is a Callaway jacket. And it is one of the thinner ones that they use for the rain so it's rain resistant um there's actually a flyer i don't know what i did with it it was came with it that basically it was it's a set so obviously the next thing i have is the pants got the good old dry stuff in here but the garbage but um great quality product um when i was looking at it it's extremely stretchy has a lot of play in it um and it says it values at $110, which I would believe it. it's Callaway. 
this this is not cheap um and the card did say it was copyright of 2021 so that means that this this is the current line that's going to be coming out really like that jacket and my favorite part which i actually if it's usually wet to wear I'm not wearing like long pants that I can just use water resistant pant pants. If I'm wearing these, usually I'm wearing shorts underneath. So they're gonna come off eventually. I'm gonna take them off when it gets starts getting warm in the afternoon, the spring, whatnot. You know, or un unusually hot afternoon or midday. So you have the pants. And the reason why I like these ones are they look like legit just pants. They're they're the stretchy, water resistant. They have a button and fly that you find on regular pants. And my favorite part that I saw when I was playing with these, they have a pocket. And the pocket is open. And if you play golf, you're watching this video, you know the biggest complaint I always have is I'll either forget, you know, I'll have my ball marker in these pants and then I'll take them off when I'm, you know, right before I tee off when it starts getting hot. And next thing I know, I can't find my ball marker, can't find, you know, you know, a divot tool. And it's a minor inconvenience, but let me say that it's still an inconvenience. That one, the pole in there, you go right through it. I love it. I already put it away. I pulled it out. And then you also have a chip. So there's your short far part four. And I have better things to do. Um, I will say, so here's my stack of chips. So this is my fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's say, uh, this is hard. So basically when you, when you break it down, this is probably not my favorite one. It's not bad. It's not a bad box. I actually enjoy this stuff. It's an, I'm going to use it not as much as everything else so i expected to get something i didn't like and at least you know one of the first four but that didn't happen i loved everything in it i've used every single thing in the first four this one the glasses are probably going to get used once or twice and the wife's going to say stop wearing it that kind of thing but other than that i'll use the jacket tomorrow i'll probably use the pants in the next couple of weeks when i go golfing um overall great product um and i think everyone should get short par four uh, which speaking of which I have to go update my info because all my information expired so just realized that super um, but uh, I would do it I would get it for anyone who golfs um, especially for anyone who golfs if you're kind of on the fence because you're just kind of like well I don't know you know if they're gonna use the rain stuff I know that's a tough one but go back and look at the other videos there's lots of high quality polos shorts pants uh, the gloves are very, very high quality. They give you name brand balls. The tees were fantastic. I still have all the tees left that they gave me that I used them for two rounds so far. There's 30 tees, they're great. So um, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, go look at all the different stuff. If you're looking for, we have a podcast, so how this all started. And if you want to check out the podcast, search FOMOcast wherever you can find podcasts. We have a TikTok for our gaming highlight videos, which is at FOMO, uh, FOMOcast Gaming. Um, this is actually the logo I'll show you right now. Since you guys are watching this on YouTube, um, this is our logo. It's stuck right there. So FOMOcast Gaming. Um, and then if you go to Facebook, search FOMOcast or FOMOcast Gaming, they're both on there. We have everything for our gaming, which we game almost every single night. And then uh, our podcast usually comes out about once a week. So um, we greatly appreciate everyone watching. Like I said, like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, tell them about it. And the main reason why I do these videos is not um, to make money. I'll, I'll never think I'll make money off this. As multiple commenters said in one of my for a random reason my one video got 500 something views um i talk too much and uh just show the stuff so i give a little bit of my personal opinion you know these ones are a little bit faster They're usually between 10 and 15 minutes the one went for 22 because it was such an awesome box i loved it that was my barrel and blade one so if you go look at that one you'll see the wonderful comments was left but um i do thank everyone who does watch it and we'll see you next time